Minnesota Sol Jaggers, Abby Henry as in El Club de Discurso y Debate, y as una jugadora de football in Jackson. Casey Fehrenbach as juega al football también, y está en fuertemente indicada en sus académicos. Megan Bostic, Megan Bostic es una bailarina y le gusta leer en su tiempo libre. Jack Fitch es una jugadora de videojuegos y come comida orgánica con entusiasmo. Ennis es una compañía de comida orgánica que usa prácticas e ingredientes saludables. Queremos mostrar por qué estos son mejores que los alimentos orgánicos. Hi, I'm Ali Neely. Ennis is a company that uses wholesome ingredients to create organic food. Our goal is to show the benefits of this type of food versus traditional genetically modified or GMO food. Abby Henry is a Jackson soccer player, a Jagger, and is in speech and debate. Casey Fehrenbach is also a Jackson soccer player and Jagger, and is, in, and is heavily involved in academics. Megan Bostic is a dancer, a Jagger, and enjoys reading in her free time. Jack Fitch is a video gamer, a Jagger, and an avid reader, eater of organic food. Although some of their hobbies may be different, their strong interest in global happenings is what brings them to work together. Andy's is an organic company. They are a mission-driven business that uses natural and organic ingredients. Their team shares a love for food, people, and the planet that we share. Their mission statement is to cultivate a healthier and happier world through good nourishing foods, honest words, and Consider, uh, considerate and kind. Here we have a video. It's about Annie's itself. It's made by Annie's. Made to Matter to me represents what Annie's was created to do. We believe in using as few ingredients as possible and things that you would find in your cupboard with cheese farmed in a sustainable way, not in a lab. And so we try to do products that most of us grew up with and that lots of moms and kids want to have in the household, but with a lot cleaner ingredients that mom can feel better about giving those choices to her family. cares about how their products impact on the planet. Right now, over 90% of their uh, packaging is recyclable, but they also are considering many other things, which have better inputs, outputs that can be recovered, and optimized materials. Better inputs, they use 35 to 50% uh, post-consumer recycled content for the paper and wax. For optimized materials, um, they are trying to focus on less packaging. Right, uh, between the years of 2008 and 2012, Annie has stopped 23 uh, million uh, per, like, types of fertilizers from affecting the air, land, and water. They have also joined with companies such as Powder Recycle and Organic Valley. Powder Recycle is a label that they have on their products that shows people how to recycle that sort of product. Organic Valley, um, they provide some of their uh, some of their organic cheese for their cheese products, such as macaroni. Um, what is a genetically modified food? What? Yeah, I try. The genetically modified foods are the biggest debate in America today, with multiple different views on each side and different reasons for being on that side. But there are many questions surrounding them. What is a genetically modified food? Well, a genetically modified food is a crop or animal that has been tampered with or altered with chemicals or some sort of genetic alter. Um, what is not a genetically modified food would be the exact opposite of that. A plant, that is, a plant or animal that is grown and bred naturally without any sort of artificial interference. Are genetically modified foods good or bad? Well, mostly bad. One reason is a chemical in that called glyphosate locks nutrients and makes the food almost completely useless. Not only that, but it is known to lead to kidney and heart failure, and also cancer on the lungs. Um, the only good thing about them is that they produce their own pesticide and makes it easier for farmers to grow them. What is good about non genetically modified food is that they have a higher crop yield and are completely harmless to the environment and completely healthy for eating. Um, 
And that is pretty much all that's around this topic, and I'm going to give you a little research. Okay, so anions is actually only located in North America, but the topic of organics is very broad around the world. About 64 to 74 countries around the world require labeling of GMO foods. The United States is not one of these countries. Some countries, like Kenya, have completely banned GMO foods. Other countries have only banned certain ingredients, which has obviously led to certain foods being banned. Only less than 5% of, of GMO ingredients are actually labeled on the labels. As more and more people are educated on the benefits of organic foods, people are starting to buy them in their households. Annie's is a clean company. Their farms are natural and healthy environment. GMO foods are produced in factories that pollute the air and destroy the earth. Annie's is your good old fashioned farm, as are other organic farms around the world. <coughs> this is a map, and the yellow countries are the ones that require labeling, and the red ones ban GMO completely. As you see, America is not one of them. Okay, so we conducted a, step, um, a survey of people in Jackson about organic foods. So the first question we asked people are, do you buy organic foods? A little more than half the people in Jackson Township do not buy organic foods. And then the next question we asked them is, why don't they buy organic foods? The most, most of the people said that it's too expensive. But actually, organic foods are only $1 to $2 more expensive. And in the long run, it's more beneficial because you're knowing what you're putting into yours and your family's bodies. Then we asked people, have they ever had Annie's food? And a little over two-thirds of the people have never had Annie's food. But we know by the end of this presentation that that, that number will decrease. <laughs> I'd like to do puzzle to, to Annie, who's turning 25. <gasps> Thanks for being so small. I can take you in. Thank you for being so No one has allergies, right? Okay. okay. So we have like cheddar bunnies versus goldfish, and then chocolate graham crackers versus chocolate bunnies, and then um, honey graham crackers versus honey bunnies. Is that good? Everybody like what you have? Okay. So you just um, start out with trying um, the ones on the left, the ones that you're used to eating. Yours is different. <laughs> <laughs> so that one is the organic one. Okay, so now taste the one on the right. Do you guys taste any like major difference or do you have an opinion on one or the other? Which one's better? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the chocolate ones are really nice. 
This is a chocolate one. I want cheese. Thank you.